Praise the Lord. This is Lewis Moore again, and this is part five of the anthology series. In the 1990s, the Lord began to deal with me about uh, worship, and as I said in the last video, I began to raise a family in 1985, and I kind of felt a priority toward that, and uh, kind of instead of you know going out and traveling as much, and began to, the Lord began to deal with me about worship, and uh, and leading people into worship. And so uh, I worked with several churches, uh, power with uh, pioneering churches in, in the local area. And uh, some of these churches did good, some of them didn't do so well. But there's one ministry that I worked with that really was unique. Uh, a guy named Scott Pinkert came to me and he said, uh, he said, I got a vision. I'd like to start a worship service out on an island during the summer. There's a lot of vacationers coming and they don't have a chance to go to church on Sunday mornings. I like to have a church service on the island. And so I said, Scott, that sounds real good. I remember back in the 1970s uh, when I was with uh, Trinity Community Church, we had a street ministry. And we got to go out on street corners and, and have a band set up and, and just minister to the people there. We saw a lot of people saved, a lot of great things. I said, Scott, this is a, this is a great idea. And uh, a lot of the pastors uh, that he had talked to had discouraged him, but I, I really encouraged him. I said, you need to go ahead. And I believe this is the Lord that you're to do this. And anyway, if you want to see the result of that, go to his website at www.twotreeisland.com. I think sometimes there's, there's around about two, sometimes 300 people that come out on, on Sunday mornings during the summer to, uh, to listen to Christian music and to listen to some good preaching and it's a great inspiration to the community. And so, uh, uh, if the Lord gives you a vision, uh, be listen to what God is speaking to you. Don't listen to what uh, man may tell you because a lot of times uh, you'll be listening to the wrong voice. And so God really blessed that ministry. Uh, and during the, the 1990s too, I also went on another trip to England to a little town called Leighton Buzzard. It was also, we did some radio on the, on the BBC radio in Luton in England and God was uh, blessed in many ways but uh, the main thing is I as during that time is I kept my, my priorities straight and there were some tough times I went through some times of financial difficulties and and stresses but uh, God was faithful and uh, I praise God for what he did in my life during that time and I wrote a song called uh, brand new story and it talks about uh, listening to the voice of God and, and, uh, and what God can do in your life once Jesus Christ comes in and rewrites your life How many times we scribble down Scripture note too Words that we could live by To help and see us through And how many years we have changed The words made us new Yet many chapters to replace Fill with stories that are new Well the preacher and the poet Have stories they must tell Reach into the heart of men and pull them out of hell. Life story writ on oh, many faces, up front seems very fine, but a life is filled with emptiness, read between the lines. But I've got a brand new story of my life. Written there by wooded hands that hung upon a cross And I realize the chapters of my past are ever lost I got a brand new story of my life Now the words a living message Six to find a home When we leave it on the table It stands there all alone 
Many books with empty pages, long not to be filled, and many chapters to erase and fill with stories that are real. But I've got a brand new story of my life, and it's written there by wounded hands that hung upon a cross. And I realize the chapters of my past are ever lost. I got a brand new story of my life. I got a brand new story of my life. I got a brand new story.